What's up anglers? We're back with another video. This time we flew out to Colorado in search of some mile high trout. Stick with us. It was a good one. Shout out to my man Kyle. Thanks for the invite brother. Let's get made. My man Kyle! Yo yo! yo. Now. Welcome to Colorado, dude! Dude, thank you, bro! What's up anglers, Mike here, Trout Made Angler Company. Thanks for smashing on that play button. Thanks for joining me on another adventure. And indeed, are we on an adventure. You saw, man, we just flew into Colorado, not even, even a half hour ago. And uh, we flew into Denver and my man Kyle said, hey, we're not gonna waste any time. We got some time to kill, man. Let's go do some urban trout fishing. So he's never been here, but he's always drove, driven by. And that's awesome, man, being out here in Colorado. There's places like this, um, you know, far from and different than California, man. So we're at this little pond. We got the made baits going on. I got the crawdad. I am actually brought my Phoenix Red Eye. This is a travel rod. It's an eight foot, one to six pounds, uh, one thirty second to one eighth ounce. I've got the plastic on there still. Hopefully we're gonna go ahead, break this rod in today. Well, at least definitely this trip, man. And we're gonna get made, dude. So I'm stoked to be here in Colorado and stoked for you guys to come on this adventure. Let's get it. The urban lakes spilled into a little river. So we cruised this river, actually saw some trout, Kyle here, sight fishing some. Didn't really get into anything here. Um, it's definitely a good time, <laughs> a good way to kill some time, I should say. After we picked up Tyler, Kyle's homie from the airport, we went to Shields, pretty cool spot. This rug was dope. I was admiring it wanted to take it home you know hmm maybe i'll find one for the studio we hit this little lake up before we uh headed home for the night got ready for the weekend and we got into some fish broke in the red eye nice little uh stocked cut bow on the hopper made baits baby kyle got into uh he got one i think tyler did too this one right here is on the beetle. Nicer uh, quality fish for Kyle. Welcome to the Arkansas River anglers. This river is very shallow. Uh, it's free stones, um, comes out of this dam from Lake Pueblo. Uh, so we're in Pueblo, Colorado, and you're going to see here in a second, it's very, very shallow. You got to pick your pockets and just dissect it with your fly rod. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be fly fishing and Kyle is here showing us how it's done. Pretty much you have just about three to four feet of your fly line out. And then you have your leader, which is probably, you know, seven to nine feet. So you, what you do, you cast it out. Uh, not too far and then uh, you know you saw Kyle mend there get the fly flowing good and then he's high sticking it and his fly line is not on the water at all just his leader as you can see and he's looking at his indicator seeing if that goes down so we're gonna go ahead give it a try uh, this is new to me new type of fly fishing but I'm up for it I'm game let's go ahead get made Here
here we go right now we are approaching our run we're standing on this shoal that's where there's uh, you know a lot of rocks that kind of drift and taper off into deeper sections of a river and that's what we're standing on and we're hitting this drop off right in front of us getting some line out there mend get that fly moving and flowing naturally and that's all we're going to be doing is fishing this pocket dissecting this part of the run and i like how our, our indicator is flowing right now you see how it's on the outside of that fast moving water that's exactly where those trout are sitting expending or not expending any energy they want to expend at the least amount of energy as possible you'll find them in all types of waters though so don't be afraid to pick apart that fast moving water as well this type of fly fishing was challenging for sure anglers i was out there casting and casting and casting and casting i think i even you know i think i break off right here and while i'm tying up yep i break off while i'm tying up george kyle's friend comes down takes two or three casts actually he sight fish this fish he's on right now saw the fish it was three feet from the shore from the bank where i was retying i knew there was trout in here i'm glad george got on one he showed us how it's done he is a guide out here and we're going to talk about that a little bit more later for now enjoy this arkansas river rainbow on the fly great job george I grabbed the old spin rod, the Phoenix Red Eye, and I thought to myself, I'm gonna show these fly guys, show them what's up and get made. Threw on some made baits, started tossing. Same result, no fish for me. It was slow, it was a long day on the Arkansas River, um, picking apart these pockets, trying to find the fish. I went back to the fly rod and just said, hey, let me change some flies, let me add some different flies, let me just grind. It was bothering me that I, I couldn't catch a fish with this type of fly fishing technique so I kept to it needless to say we're back at the Airbnb nice spot had some food tied some flies getting ready for tomorrow our adventure on the South Platte River the South Platte a tributary of the Platte River this baby stretches 439 miles through Colorado and Nebraska. Today, our target species are rainbow trout, cut bows, and our favorite, you know it anglers, the brown trout. We'll be fishing this particular section of the South Platte known to Denver, Colorado locals as deckers. Now this is what I imagine when I think of Colorado fly fishing. As I approach the river, I stop and take in the moment to get made. Is I supposed to do that? Walk on that? Oh, okay. But uh, I might tell you to go down below us. I don't know where the other guys are gonna go. Oh, they went to the right. Cause okay, so this hole we're gonna fish all day, and then like down there, there's some ripples. Okay. Really good. Um, so we can just do two and two all day. And okay. Back and forth. But like all those cars parked out there will probably deter people away from coming over here. Yeah. Um, but people can walk, walk up from around this way. Okay. But man, there's like tons of so pretty much right before the from here to right before yeah, those right, riffles. Those other guys went right, so then they're coming down. So we can if you want to fish with me, and then they'll fish down there or something. Yeah. We can switch back and forth. Yeah, either way. But uh, there's tons of fish that hold me. I think yesterday there's like a couple holding back there, and they're just like a line. They're just like sitting in a line. <laughs> <laughs> Taking turns eating, huh? What uh? 
Same rigs as yesterday, or? Uh, they bumped the flows a little bit, so definitely like leeches, eggs, worms, scuds. Okay. For sure. And then I'll throw some pheasant tails, RS2s, and then just midge patterns in the morning. Cool. And then maybe throw some mayfly patterns in the afternoon. Okay. I got all that. After that in-depth rundown from George, I'm as confident as I ever could be to land my first Colorado brownie. Not only that, I'm determined not to let this fly fishing technique kick my ass. I'm going to be patient with my runs, pick apart all types of water, and change my flies often. Today is about redemption. And as soon as I say that, George hooks into a nice brown after moving out towards a deep run on the outside of the riffles in some fast water. I hear you throw midges and then the mayflies in the afternoon, but the pheasant tail seems to be working in. Nice. Goes. Way to go, George. Yes, sir. Just like yesterday, bro. <laughs> at this point, I'm committed to the runs I'm casting at, making sure each seam is covered by my juicy flies. And at some point, a fish will have to find that appetizing, right? Well, sure, but when there's a side salad that comes with their meal, no doubt they'll send it back to the kitchen with a one-star review on Yelp saying, great, with the GoPro, doesn't check his flies for salad. And that is exactly what was going on at this moment. Great casting, great drifts on the run, but the fish want protein. So I check my flies and clean them off. Always check your flies. Always. There we go. Bro, I just cleaned the salad off my dang, uh, probably the pheasant tail I cleaned it off of. Yeah, right here. Definitely. There's some active browns feeding right here too, but they won't eat. Hell yeah, brother. Hey, you want to go to the corner? Yeah. Thank you, bro. Good shit. Fun tail? Yeah, I just cleaned it, just <laughs> cleaned it off, bro. Good Just shit, cleaned bro. it off. That's a nice, that's probably the best fish today for sure. Oh, did he unhook already? Nice. No. Oh, yeah. Wow, I just cleaned that off too. <laughs> just cleaned it off. Good shit. Oh. And there was like a couple brands like feeding subsurface to it. Oh man. You are beautiful to me. Here he goes. Yes, sir. Thank you, George. <laughs> Love to see it. That was, nice. that was probably one of the nicer first times. That isn't too. Clean my pheasant tail. Seriously, next freaking cast, bro. Yeah, bro nice out. freaking these, drift. These ripples right here for sure. Yeah. This is super technical fishing, dude. Oh, dude. But it's, it's not easy to catch fish here. It's definitely difficult. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Colorado, dude. Yeah, man, baby. Yeah. yeah. Woo.
check it out anglers let me know can you see the trout hanging out feeding behind me while i'm fishing they're right there one two three four oh he just came up and grabbed tried to grab my fly locals call these boot lickers trout love structure to hide behind and feed like rocks big rocks so like snagging you can't cast that these boot lickers is definitely frowned upon It was time for lunch and a trip to the local fly shop there at Decker's. I make it a habit to stop in and buy something, especially some flies. It's great to support those local small guys. I asked for some recommendations and got situated. The staff here was really friendly and offered up all kinds of information. George also has these waters dialed in, so my afternoon seemed like it'd shape up to be better than my first marriage, at the very least. The afternoon brought the W, and in fly fishing, that really sucks. It doesn't mean win, and it's never a good thing. It makes it 10 times more difficult, but somehow we managed to keep casting where we think fish should be and could be. As I said before, changing flies was a part of the game plan, so I try a stonefly nymph aka Pat's rubber legs as my top fly, and we still have the pheasant tail trailing as my second and bottom fly. Got one baby! Oh, I did! It just, I let him run and then he, he like, I saw it, I felt that mo There we go. Boy, get me, baby. Get me. That's what he hit. Yeah, he hit my stone fly, bro. Get that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah brother. Love this shit, boy. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Wanna go to the side? Yeah. Yeah. No, I bought it at, at uh, Sportsman. <laughs> Hit that stone fly. That stone fly. That's like a size 10 you got on there, baby. Look at that. Nice. Hit that stone fly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, that's beautiful. It's freaking brown, dude. You got your phone ready?
11 o'clock. I'm gonna bring them back this way. We couldn't have asked for a better afternoon. All of us were getting made. Catching fish in the windy conditions, the trout didn't care, so why should we? Anglers, I fished a couple rivers like this before and never underestimate the flow and how bad your day can turn with the wrong step. I carefully navigate across the river and try my luck at some faster moving water right after this little tail out. You see the riffles and the rough water? Trout will be hanging around behind that once that water calms a little. I have a feeling this run is going to be good. Yeah, baby. I'm on. There you go, George. Yeah, yeah sir. I thought I was stuck. <laughs> I was gonna ask if you were stuck. Because it like, boom. And then, then I felt him, or her, looks like a her, from here. Oh, the, uh, yeah, that's my little, uh, little bait, Vetus, you said. Nice. You see right there? Let's see. Oh. Yeah, faster water. Yeah. Here we go, anglers on the South Platte, baby. <laughs> Getting made with some brown, some fly fishing. Uh, <laughs> there she goes. Chasing trout in Colorado's blue ribbon waters has been an amazing experience for me. Another bucket list trip I get to cross off. Trips like this, an angler can go through a whirlwind and roller coaster of emotions, especially fly fishing. It's such a demanding way to fish, so technical and so precise. I'm proud that I have put my angling skills to the test and seen success. I'll have some awesome memories of Colorado. I might forget the fish I caught, but I'll definitely never forget the one that I lost. No job. Right, job We're tight. We're tight. Oh, yeah, it's windy. It was time to head home back to San Diego, but before I jumped on a plane, you know we had to make a quick stop at another fishing spot. This time, we put our made baits and Phoenix Red Eye back to work and had quite the session to send us home wanting to come back to Colorado soon.
Mike with a sick one. Hell yeah. <laughs> no other way to end it. Hey, trial made. Yeah.